Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet. Need more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. It is run by Joe. Come and be his guest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. Here's our lady MD. She's as pretty as can be at the junction. Petticoat Junction. <laughs> Olympic champion? Well, maybe she's from the English Channel. Well, she can already kick her feet. Well, I don't think they allow Channel swimmers to have their aunts walk along beside her. <laughs> Want to try it again, sweetie? Come on. Come, Come on. on. Uh oh. Go away. Come on. Here we go. Hey, I said go away. Sorry, boy. Not this time. No men allowed. Come on, Kathy Jo, let's try it again. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. You go back. There it is, Kathy Jo. See? That's the way to do the dog paddle. <laughs> Oh boy, we could sure use some help with this stuff. Sure could. I've got it. Okay. <laughs> oh, so sorry, Joe. That's all right. Got another load, huh? Yep, another load. And we were kind of wondering where we could get a little help. Oh. Gosh, why didn't you say so? I'd be glad to give you a hand. The uh, old double detached slip disc, huh? Well, the gas has slipped out again. I'll give her a rest. Maybe I can help you on the next load. Joe, this is the last load. Oh? Hmm. Well, what do you know? It slipped back in again. <laughs> coming. Yeah, this is our last load. <laughs> I said take it easy. Oh, that's all right. Leave it here for a second. I got to take this in the dining room. Whoa. Hi. 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 Where are you there? In our bathing suits. You want to take a wild guess? You don't mean you took Kathy Joe down to the water tower. We're teaching her how to swim. You're teaching her to swim? Honey, you... you, you the, the dog. I'm sorry, I'm with them. I believe in learning to swim at the earliest possible age. But she doesn't even know how to walk yet. Well, it's easier to learn to swim than to walk. That's fine if you're raising a catfish, but I'm raising a baby. <laughs> what I mean is that the baby's limbs are strong enough to swim long before they can support her body. Oh, believe me, Steve, teaching a baby to swim at the earliest possible age is one of the best safety precautions a parent can take. Mom taught all of us to swim before we could walk. And in the same old water tower, too. Well, I, I guess it's all right. But listen, you. I don't want any backflips off that high board. You got it? <laughs> hey, how'd she do? Great, huh? Oh, she was wonderful. Not a bit afraid. Not a bit. Well. Well, hey. She's my daughter, too, you know. Uh. <laughs> hey, who said you could come in here all wet? What's with him? He was a bad dog. He jumped in the tank while the baby was there. You ought to be ashamed. Go on. 
Go back outside. Oh, isn't she sweet? Let's go up to our new room and put on our nice, pretty dress. Such a darling. Hello. We taught her how to swim today, Uncle oh. Joe. She was great. Try to go upstairs now. Go on. Hey, thanks again for all your help, Sam. We sure do appreciate you taking time off from the store. Oh, any time, Steve. Like, for instance, when you get tired of this old goat, I'll help you move back to the cottage. <laughs> Why don't you go back and mark up your canned goods? <laughs> go on, Steve. Take it easy. Steve, nice having you back with us. Oh, thanks, Joe. Actually, I think it's going to work out fine. Oh, hi there, fella. What's the matter? You can't find anybody to play with? Here you go. Yeah, we were really running out of room down there. With all the baby's things and Betty Joe's things, I was down to a half a drawer in the dresser and a nail on the door. Well, it's the old story about women. They haven't got a thing to wear, but they need every closet in the house to keep it in. You go, boy. Uh, say, incidentally, Joe, now that we'll be living here, Betty Joe and I want to pay our share. Ah, uh, forget it. No, 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 I mean it. Steve. Your family, forget it. I know that, but we just wouldn't feel right. Ah, Steve, for crying out loud. Joe, we insist. Now, let's sit right down here and figure out our share. Well, you insist. These figures look all right to you? <laughs> Steve! Uh, yeah, yeah, honey. Could you keep Dog quiet? It's time for Kathy Joe's nap. Yeah, right. You hear that? Look, fella, we got a baby living here now, and you're just going to have to get used to it. That's where my money goes To buy my baby clothes I buy everything to keep her in style She's just about one year old and she's worth her weight in gold. Yes, sir, that's where my money goes. Believe me, all for my little Kathy Joe. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was cute. Oh, Steve. thank you. That's very good, just like old times. Oh, you like it too, eh, fella? It's <laughs> fun having you and Betty Joe here with us again. Don't forget Kathy Joe. Well, who could? <laughs> hey, talk about coming in on cue. Hi. She promised to be a real good little girl if I let her come down and listen for a few minutes before going nighty-night. <laughs> well, you two seem to have had quite a conversation. <laughs> well, it was a little one-sided. <laughs> oh, down, boy. Kathy Joe's going to sit there. <laughs> Dog, that's Kathy Joe's rattle. Well, now we'll have to sterilize it. With a special audience, I guess it's request time. What will it be, Your Highness? Yeah, you can hear anything you want, as long as it's Moonlight Bay. That's the one we rehearsed. <laughs> well, it's my favorite, even if it isn't hers. <laughs> Why don't you join in? I'll take care of the princess. <laughs> Come on. Come on, honey. Come on, honey. Oh, there we are. Oh, no, fellow, that's the baby's blanket. You're getting to be a four-legged nuisance. Get off of there. We were sailing along. We were sailing along. You have stolen my heart. You have stolen my heart. Now don't go away. Don't go away. As we sang love's oh sweet song on moonlight day. We were sailing along. We were sailing along. On moonlight day. On the moonlight day. We could hear the voices singing. Singing away. They seem to say, what do they say, what do they say, you have stolen my heart, you have stolen my heart, don't you dare go away, don't you dare go away, 
so we'll sing it all night long. While the feet keep moving on, going backward, this old song to moonlight band. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least we work to an appreciative audience. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing we like ourselves. <laughs> she loved it while she lasted. <laughs> to get lost with a food supply, huh? <laughs> All right, come on in. I don't know what's up, but I'll tell you one thing. You're going back first thing in the morning. You got that? <laughs> well, I don't know what you're used to back at the Shady Rest, but beggars can't be choosers. You can sleep in these gunny sacks. Okay, there you go. No, you don't. I ain't sleeping on those gunny sacks. <laughs> well, I suppose you are a guest. Move over. <laughs> Talk about spoiled rock. <laughs> Will you lie down? <laughs> That's funny. Dog hasn't eaten those scraps we put in his plate. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him all morning. Well, neither have I. Dog! Here, Dog! Dog! Here, Dog! Hi. Have you seen Dog? Well, no, as a matter of fact, I haven't. Not since last night, anyway. Betty Jo! Yes? Is Dog up there with you? No, is he missing? We haven't seen him all morning. Do you think he could be with Steve? Well, Steve left about 5 a.m. He's crop dusting over in Mason County. Dog! Here, Dog! What's all the commotion? Dog is missing. Oh, is that all? He's probably asleep somewhere. That four-footed bum's always lying around. <laughs> Remember, as soon as the cannonball gets here, I'm sending you back to the Shady Rest. Well, I don't know if that was a yes or a no, but that's what's going to happen. Oh, <laughs> you noticed the meat, huh? Now look, I'd like to give you something, but if I start feeding you, you're liable to keep hanging around, and I don't want to be charged with alienation of affection. <laughs> well... I guess I do have to take inventory. One, two, three. Oh, doggone it if I didn't drop one. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, dropped another one. Eight, nine. Saved by the whistle. I'll get the mail ready and then we'll go. Sorry, I'm through with the meat inventory. <laughs> Lucky for me, I wasn't counting T-bone steaks. Sam! Sam. Oh, hi, Joe. Sam Dog's gone. Oh? Well, I kind of don't blame him. With you around, he was lucky if there was any leftover scraps to feed him. <laughs> Sam, this is no time for cracking wise. Dog took off, and we don't know where he is. Well, okay, okay, don't get excited. Here, fella. Hey, boy. Well, he's in the back room. He spent the night with me. He never did have much taste. <laughs> Dog, I hate to tell you this, but one of your masters is here. Dog? Hey, Dog. Hey, Dog. Dog. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. 
Well, when he heard you coming, he probably headed for the border. <laughs> Joe will find him. I'm afraid not. He's upstairs. <laughs> he quit looking? Mm -hmm. He walked all the way home from Sam Drucker's store. Took the old back road. Uncle Joe walked all the way home from Drucker's? It was a traumatic experience. It drove him to an early nap. <laughs> I don't understand why Dog would run away. There's no reason. Well, I've been thinking about that. It's just possible that there is a reason. Right there in your arm. How could Kathy Joe possibly drive him away? Well... In purely medical terminology, we'd label it a classic case of N-O-J, nose out of joint. You mean Dog is jealous of her? Well, think about it. He's always been king of the hill around here, and now all of a sudden there's a queen on the throne. Oh, but we love him just as much as ever. Now, we know that, but the trouble is we just have to convince him. Yeah, if we ever see him again. Can you dig it? Girl in cage. A beautiful sight to see. Don't hurt me, I won't hurt you. Well, hello, my little friend. What are you doing here? Never saw you around before. Uh, excuse me. You'd better get used to it. I did. Otherwise, I'd have gone back to my wife. <laughs> well, no. That's more like it. You know, it's nice to have someone to talk to. One tires of dying alone. You understand? Oh, by the way, that was some storm we had today, wasn't it? Yeah, I see it got into you, too. There's a freight train that stops here 
about 9.15. And I've booked reservations. Yes. Hey, by the way, would you like to join me? Oh, it's great down south. And it's good for a dog, too. Lots of rabbits to chase, and the handouts are good. And, uh, hmm. If we get down around New Orleans, you know what they've got there? French poodles. <laughs> Oh, Joe, any news? Yeah, I heard Evans thinks he saw him running out of his barn while it was storming. Took off towards Junction City. Give me the phone. Well, what are you going to do? Call the sheriff down there. Get him sent out a squad car. Joe, the sheriff won't send out a squad car for a thing like that. Why not? He'd send it out for some old criminal. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. Get me... Mrs. Frisbee, what are you doing on the line? Yeah, well, get off. I got something important. Must have phoned in a grocery order. Well, Joe... Well, if you're in that big a hurry, why don't you call the Pixley Market? Joe, for crying out loud. You want to find dog or not? Well, I... Oh, okay. Look, Mrs. Frisbee. Oh, Sarah, this is Joe Carson. So get me the sheriff down at Junction City. And there's that cookie jar over here. Dog's got me so upset I missed a meal, almost. <laughs> Hello, Sheriff. She's answering service. I gotta leave a message when I hear the beep. Hello, Sheriff. This is Joe Carson. When you come in, call Sam Druckers immediately. Urgent. Our dog is lost. And a beep beep to you. <laughs> You'll have to relay the message, Sam. And oh, keep the line open. No other calls till you hear from him. But Joe, I got a business to run. Mr. Drucker, don't you care about dog? Oh, sure, but I... Oh, okay, okay, the line is open. You're sweet. <laughs> you probably noticed I'm very neat in my ways. Oh. Remember, leave everything tidy. Oh, there's the 9.15. Time to get on our way. Now, when she stops at that crossing, that's when we board her. And we're not going to ride the rods, no, sir. That's for bums. I'll slide open one of the freight car doors, and we'll ride inside in style. You understand? All right, let's go. No time to move. Well, come on. Remember what I said. Nice warm weather, good handouts, French poodles. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Well, it's midnight. I guess we better call it a day. Any sign of him out and back? No. I'm worried. This is the first night he's ever been away from home. It certainly seems empty around here without him. Yeah, and the worst part of it is, it's our fault. Darn mutt. If he ever comes back, I'm gonna treat him kind and gentle. Love him so he won't ever want to leave again. Oh. Hey, what's that? loving kindness you were going to give him. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm going to let you off the hook this time, but if you ever pull a thing like that again, I'll... <laughs> oh, forget it. <laughs> oh, you precious little angel. Oh, and you are a precious little angel, too. <laughs> Here you go, sweetheart. And... This little poodle's for you. There you go. Hey, sweetheart. Come on. Oh, Betty Jo. You promised if he ever came back. Okay.
What's the best way to show mom you care? Rotate her tires and give her an oil change. Then watch My Mother the Car on the Wonders of TV Land. A special Mother's Day marathon of the infamous 60s sitcom starring Jerry Van Dyke. Today, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 Pacific, here on TV Land. Up next on TV Land, it's Sonny and Cher. So stay tuned. Petticoat Junction.